in here are right-legged wrestlers. Real quick, who wrestles left-handed in here? Raise your hand. Usually it's about 5%. Usually we got four or five guys. Got one, two, three, we got four, we got five. Just like I said, four or five guys out of a out of 90 or 100. So we got 94%, 93% of all wrestlers, I see it every week, are right-legged wrestlers. That means they hit their head inside single. Why? Because they penetrate their right knee to the left leg. You guys with me? So we're going to start here. Hey, guys, if you're a lefty and you hit your head inside single here, do me a favor. Hit your head inside single here for the partner. Make sense? All right, here we go. First thing Dave Schultz said to do is get his head down. Right here, Kayla's strong. Why is he in a stand? First, I like to get his head down. I take my right hand. I pull his head down. First thing I do. Then I'm going to bring my hip in. Feet are going to go back. And then, guys, my hip is always going to run because i got to get his head between here and here. Somewhere in the middle of my body. Why Dave Schultz said so, that's why. <laughs> All right? I shove his head down, hip in, feet go back, and I sprint towards his head. Why? To get his head in the center so he can't get it up. And then, guys, my left arm plays a huge role. Left arm plays a huge role, and so does my right hand. As I bring my hip in, feet go back and sprawl and square up, my left hand is going to reach, and I'm going to get the deepest tight waist I can on K. My right hand, as soon as he shoves his head down, he is looking to catch underneath his butt cheek on his hamstring. I'm going to do all that at once. Head down, hip in, feet go back, really kicking his leg back, deep, tight waist here. Right hand is going to come underneath his butt cheek on his hamstring. And then, guys, I'm bringing both my elbows right back to my stand. I'm really giving a good, hard squeeze here. Hey, guys, to Kale, it's going to feel like I'm breaking his ribs or he's going to crap his pants. I'm not lying. It's that tight. Now guys, once I get here, I want to get a thing called an angle. And here's what I'm talking about. Kale's on all fours. <coughs> He's on all fours. If I'm sitting right here, I do not have an angle. Can you guys all see that? If I'm here, I have an angle. It's just the wrong angle. I want to get right here to where I have an angle. So then when I bring both my hips in, he can feel the pressure of both my hips. Because right now, guys, the only thing Kale's feeling is my left hip. Head down, hip in, feet go back. He feels one hip, he feels my left hip. Right hand below his butt cheek. Here's the whole key move. This is what high school kids cannot get. This is what college kids cannot get. Talk to Tom Ryan about it. College kids cannot figure this next step out. Once I'm here, Kill, this is not tight, it's not tight waist, correct? Not tight at all. Watch how I get tight. He's only feeling one hip. He's got to feel both my hips. Look at my left foot. Left foot's tapping. My left knee's on the mat. I'm going to windshield wiper my left foot. I'm going to go from here. My knee's going to stay, stay in the same hole on the mat. I'm going to do this right here. There. That little trick right there, guys, is the whole key to move. Because then he can feel both my hips. And I do this right here. Here, I look across his back. I drive in. I promise. Kale, is that tight? Yeah. It's real tight. I promise. We score a ton of takedowns from here. Once we get here, hip stays in. We circle. Step over. You know you're doing it right when it feels like your arm gets trapped. But it'll come out. I cannot stress this enough, guys. Once that right foot steps up, the whole key is this right here. Here. So now he can feel the full effect of both hips. Again, head down. Hip in. Feet go back. Right foot's really stepping up. Catch. I'm squeezing. Right here is the whole key. There. To there. Can you move, Kale? No. Can I move? Step over, arm comes out. Guys, it looks real simple. I'm telling you, this is one of the toughest techniques that you guys are going to try to figure out this week. Hey, guys, David Taylor uh, moved to my school when he was how old? 10 from Evanston, Wyoming. And David Taylor, guys, a freak. All right, one of the top five wrestlers I've ever coached in my, in my life. Anyway, guys, David Taylor, very good scrambler. In my book, he had one flaw in high school. One flaw, it was defense. He scrambled so well, he usually always got out of trouble. And here's what I'm talking about. Here's what David used to do. He would kick this leg back. Got hit head inside single. He would kick this leg back. He'd sprawl, square up. And every time he'd sprawl and square up, by not kicking his leg back, his hip rolled on top of the guy's head. Watch, he'd do this right here. Head down, hip and feet back. See where my hips are, guys? It's on top of his head. David was so good, the guy posed his hand, split the middle, David would trap his arm here, he'd take his right knee, shove the guy's head over, left knee would come on this side, here, 
he step over, he'd actually get the takedown. Did he come off the mat? Hey, coach, you like that technique? No, I hate it. I said, one of these days, somebody's going to beat you. I'm doing it. Last time David Taylor got beat, guys, was about 100 yards in that gym in there against our big R tribe, Lakewood St. Ed's. David Taylor wrestled a kid named Jamie Clark. Jamie Clark beat him 10-8 overtime. Took David down four times. Every time he hit a head inside single, he'd split the middle, he'd shoot his arm through. David didn't trap his arm, and he beat David. David came off the back, he was coach, he needed to work on defense. I said, yep, yes we do. Got to kick that left leg back. Have to kick that left leg back. Cannot have my hips on top of his head. Head down, hip in, feet back, here. I never drive in and up. If I drive in and up, it'll split the middle. If I start running my hips in and up here, it's only going to split the middle every time. My pressure is always down and in. Can you split the middle there? Split the middle here? There? And then I bring in the crush right here. Very, very tight. Step over, arm comes out. Does that make sense, guys? One more time. One more time, and we'll try it. Head down. Hip in, feet back, I'm squaring up. Look at my right leg, right leg's one step, step way up. Catch up in this hamstring. Windshield wipe, now I've got the angle. Now I can crunch. Hey, if it's not tight, guys, grab this. All right, I'm telling you, it's one of the most difficult techniques I show up I can. Looks simple, but it's hard. Let's go. Harder, 